Am I looking at you or the phone? Camera one or camera two? Camera one. I'm just the talent. For the love of juju beads, everybody, please don't do this with your engine running. It's dangerous. Photo, photo adventures. <laughs> Welcome back to Moto Photo Adventures, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how I clean and maintain my chain. I know, I know, there's a lot of different things that you can do with your chain. Uh, you can leave it completely alone and not do anything. Just wipe it off every now and then. But uh, I value my motorcycles, I value my safety, and so therefore I'm gonna maintain my chain pretty good. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Before we get started, let me show you some products that I don't recommend using. And of course, this is a controversial subject, so leave a comment, let me know if I'm doing something wrong or if you guys do something different. A very popular choice for cleaning and lubing your chain is WD-40. Not a good choice, not a good choice at all. Uh, it can actually uh, damage the O-rings or X-rings on some of the more modern chains, and it's actually not that great a cleaner. You can get the chain cleaner faster with other solvents. So um, it's kind of silly to use it other than it's cheap, I know that. And a lot of people also use crazy stuff like brake uh, cleaner or uh, engine degreaser and stuff like that. I'm telling you, those harsh chemicals will damage the O-rings on modern chains. Obviously, at this point, you have uh, figured out that I'm mostly talking to those of you who have fairly new motorcycles. Anything that has an O-ring or an X-ring chain, that's what I'm going to be addressing today. Old, old, old motorcycles, like when I grew up in Africa and we had this old beat-up, you know, 100cc Kawasaki that had a standard chain with no O-rings. Oh my gosh, I clean that thing with everything. I, I clean that thing with gas sometimes if I, <laughs> if I didn't have anything else. You could do that with those old chains because they were practically, you couldn't, you couldn't hurt them. Uh, they didn't have the O-rings and the X-rings that uh, are sealing in all of the grease inside the internal part of the chain. Uh, but with new modern chains, we have to be a little bit more careful and use solvents that aren't going to damage those seals. Now, of course, motorcycle manufacturers and different brands have specific degreaser chain cleaner. Uh, you'll spend a lot of money on these sorts of things. Now, I particularly enjoy the MotorX products. I've tried a, a couple of different brands um, and I really like this. Um, and I will still use this occasionally, but it is fairly expensive. So uh, chain cleaner, go ahead and order that if you want. It's specifically designed and manufactured to work on a chain. So that's a good thing. But I'm telling you guys my favorite thing to use Excuse me while I drop stuff. Ah, everything's rolling around on my seat. But my absolute favorite chain cleaner is kerosene. It's super cheap, easy to come by, uh, doesn't damage the O-rings or the seals, and it cleans much better and, and quicker than some of the other options like WD-40. You buy it in these big containers. It's very easy to get at like a Home Depot or a Lowe's, and then just get yourself a little spritzer spray bottle. Kerosene, it's what's for breakfast. Kerosene, you'll need a chaser. With that, I'll just let you know a couple of other things that you wanna definitely have if you're gonna be cleaning your chain. I do highly recommend a grunge brush. If you're not familiar with a grunge brush, it makes the job so much easier. Three-sided brush that uh, cleans the chain and helps with the uh, removal of the debris. Uh, if you're a little bit anal like me, you need to get back on top. Grab last month's uh, toothbrush out of the cabinet. Get yourself a new one for your teeth, but those work great as well. You definitely need a rag, and of course, for our dainty fingers, you want some gloves. Yes! And before I forget, let me tell you a little bit about the uh, lubrication that I use. You have been trying the chain wax, but I'm not crazy about it here in the humid South Carolina. Uh, it, for some reason, gets a little crusty. Crusty bitches and a handful of ragtags. So I'm not a, a big fan of that. I switched to this Motorex, and again, I told you I, I, I really kind of like their products. Uh, and I've been using the Adventure, which isn't as thick as a road uh, version, and it's not as light as a uh, off-road, you know, like a, a dirt bike version. It's kind of in between. Um, and I like it, too, because it's a, a white color, because it 
helps me to determine whether my chain's been cleaned or not. But we'll get to that in a minute. First thing we want to do is lay down a bunch of cardboard. Cardboard will absorb all of the gunk and goo that comes off of the uh, chain. So helps to keep things clean and uh, preserve the environment so it's not running down into a ditch. Gloves, go on. Grab yourself your little kerosene here, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, for safety reasons, I never rec I see people do it all the time. I'd never recommend turning your bike on and putting it in first gear and then letting it turn by itself. That's, that's just asking for trouble. Um, don't do that. And uh, so you leave one hand free to turn your chain and grab your kerosene here and just start lubricating the chain or coating the chain with your kerosene. You'll notice I've got the cardboard raised up in the back there so that it's keeping it off the wheel. And it just rolls down and uh, collects here on the cardboard down at the bottom. Once you've got that really well coated, grab your grunge brush. Get it around your chain there and just keep going. You can already start to see the gunk coming off you can get the top of the chain too. You can go either direction. Fantastic. Already got a good start. Now that everything's a little bit loose, I'm going to use a little more kerosene, go around again. Awesome. This is looking really good already. Uh, I'll use a rag here in a minute and show you how clean it is so far, but just for good measure, I'm going to do it one more time the opposite direction. Next, we'll grab our rag. Look at that. Everything's just Starting to gleam, starting to get a little bit of shine. Still have a little bit of gunk on there, so I just keep working it the same way. Last little rinse. Look at while I uh, spray this, that just falls right away. Within five minutes, you have a very, very good, high quality clean. But if you're a little anal like me, oh. Really want to get in there nice and tight and get some really good detail going, just pull out your toothbrush. If you'll notice, in between the, plat the top plates, that's where you don't really reach with the grunge brush. So I will often just go around, and get in between there. If you do that, once around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, and then once around the inside, you'll really have this thing shining. While Chris is doing some chain maintenance and some cleanup over there in the video, I figured that I would come in here and clean up my workspace. It's gotten a little bit out of hand and everybody that needs to do a little bit of cleanup here and there. You know who else does good cleanup? Rick Stewart, scmotolawyer.com, comes in at the most opportune time to help you clean up a situation. Find yourself in a bad spot out on the road due to no fault of your own, gotta have a cleanup crew. Rick Stewart, I'm gonna put some stuff up on the screen right here. Screenshot it, keep it in your phone, that way you have it when you need Rick to come help you clean up a nasty situation. scmotolawyer.com. Once you have that chain nice and gleaming and bright, same kerosene, I usually just spritz a little bit on a new, a new rag. And you can use that to just clean up this area because as you're riding, as you know, a lot of the dirt and grime and oil and stuff off the chain will uh, get flung up onto uh, parts of your motorcycle. So you can get all that nice and cleaned up. 
and then we just oil the chain. It's pretty easy. I do like to make sure the chain's nice and dry, so sometimes I'll even just uh, let it sit for, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Make sure you shake your can up. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. You see, shaking Polaroids is a great way to increase the odds that the photo you just took gets ruined. And there's a lot of advice that you'll see different people sharing about where to place the chain lube and how to oil your chain. I find that that varies depending on where you live. We live here in the south, right on the coast, where you have lots of salty air. So the chain lube isn't really going into the chain and greasing the inner parts. That's all done from the manufacturer. For the life of your chain, it's fully greased. For me, this just basically uh, coats the outer surface of the chain, uh, reduces friction, so that does help a little bit with your uh, mi gas mileage and the efficiency of your motorcycle. But most importantly, just a light little coating of some sort of lubricant or oil will keep the corrosive elements, uh, especially on the coastal areas, off of your chain. So with two rotations, I'm able to coat all four surfaces of the chain. Here's how I do it. Starting from this angle in here, I'm going to be able to project the majority of the chain lube right onto this lip. And that's uh, probably the most important part is the joining uh, sections here where the O-rings are. So we want to get some of that chain lube down and into those O-rings and get all that nice and lubricated. Uh, and it's also going to coat all of the surface area over on this side. And it's also going to get the inner workings of the chain, the inner parts here. So this angle is one of my favorites. We'll just do, go around one time. And that gets the whole two sides and those uh, important O-rings. Next spot I'm going to take is way over here. I'm going to come in from this angle and it's going to do the exact same thing on the other two surfaces. So it will coat the outer section of the chain and the inner sections of the chain. But again, most importantly, a lot of it is directed right along those O-rings on the inner, inner line. There you have it. Two revolutions of the wheel, two revolution, complete revolutions of the chain. You've got every section completely coated and we're just gonna let that dry. You never wanna go for a ride immediately after uh, lubing up your chain because a lot of it's gonna get flung off. Uh, you wanna let that soak in and really get seated inside the chain before you go riding. There you have it. Uh, I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and uh, you know put away properly. As my mom used to say, cleanliness is next to godliness, and that's especially true when it comes to motorcycle chains. Hey, if you get a chance, go buy one of Sam Manicom's books. He's one of my favorite adventure motorcycle authors, and we'd like to send a huge shout out to him for sending us this, this shirt. Now, one way that you can thank us is by giving us a like, uh, share this video with all of your friends and family, and subscribe to the channel. We uh, put out tons of content like this, and if you find it helpful, we would love to uh, have you along with the family. Always leave me a comment and let me know in the comments below if you have a better way of doing this. I always read every single comment and so I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day everybody and get out there and enjoy your rides.